Hi, I would like to share the relationship between ISO 5167 part 2 on the orifice which it indicate the formula for the mesorate and how it relates with the Bernoulli theorem here. What does Bernoulli, uh, first let us see what actually uh, Bernoulli theorem said. Bernoulli theorem said that at any point and on the straight pipe line, the total pressure of the fluid is the same. Of course, with some consideration. And take this as an example. The total pressure here is actually equivalent to the total pressure here. Okay. So, the total pressure consists of P1, which is actually the static pressure 1 and the dynamic pressure for the point 1 and also the hydrostatic pressure is equivalent to is equal to P2 static pressure number 2 at point 2 and dynamic pressure at point 2 and also the hydrostatic pressure however since it's at the straight pipeline we can just Cancel off this hydrostatic pressure. Now let's move on. Let's take P2 on the left. And we left the, with this formula. Only the dynamic pressure on the right. And then we can substitute the V1. The velocity number 1. 2 with this ideal fluid flow. In this ideal fluid flow, you can substitute V1 with A2 times V2 over A1 and then you can substitute here. Then just solve for the equation. A2, area number 2 is actually equals to pi d square over 4 and point 2 we take as a bore diameter small d and a1 we take as big d and we can solve it right here okay all right now let's continue we got this one just now and actually this small d over big d is equals to the beta ratio here you can see beta ratio is equals to the diameter at the bore of the orifice divided by the big D which is equivalent to the outer diameter or the pipe diameter. And notice that P1 minus P2 is actually the delta P. And then solving for V2, we just bring V2 to the to the left side and we'll get this formula just to arrange it and for the v2 you just need to square root everything and let's move on to find this qv qv is just um ideal we just take this formula for the ideal fluid flow just now q equals to av so we already got the v2 here Right, and then the A is for the A2 is for the small d pi d square over 4. Right now, you already got the QV. Let's find the QM. Q, QM is QV times by the density, just Copy again the QV just now and times by density. Solving for this one. I just make a different form so that it can easily um, seen and I found it is easier to solve. Square root is actually the power of half similar to this one. 1 minus beta to the power of 4. And this density or the row is uh, to the power of 1. And the row at the bottom 
is when we bring up is to the power of minus half and so just solving for this one you'll get one minus half is equal to half and just rearrange in the different form so that is similar with the ISO 5167 just square root this one to delta P and times by the density and of course we need to multiply by the coefficient of discharge and the expansion factor now you've got this formula is the final one is actually similar with the formula from the ISO 5167 Alright, thank you for watching.